Sim Racers, Larry TJR Sim here, and today we're looking at the uh, Sim Experience Ecuforce V2. I have it upside down, as you can see here on its on its top, and we're gonna see if this will mount up to the um, uh, Semitic or Semitic K2 rig. Now, what I discovered is that it will direct mount to it. However, it'll only utilize two of the or one bolt on each side. So what happens is if I line it up, where'd you go? There to there, let's see, let me find it here for you. This goes to the back side, and I'm looking for the two little side holes. Here there's one there, but that's not on center. So it's this one and this one. So, um, there's actually three holes, one, two, three, one, two, three, uh, that you can mount, but you can only utilize two of the bolt holes. So if you want to uh, mount this Sim Experience V2 Pro directly to the angle plate uh, that comes with uh, Simitech K2 rig, uh, you can only utilize two bolts instead of four. So you may get a little bit of lift off rather than this direction uh, with the wheel. Uh, which is a little bit of pity. So you would have to drill extra two holes in here to get a four bolt pattern uh, done. Uh, however, you have positions here. So I have this in the middle holes right here. I know you can't quite see it. Let me see. Uh, let me see right here. I have it here in the middle holes lined up right there and there. Uh, you can you utilize both of those holes and see how that works out for you. Uh, or you could slide, and this is, of course, level with the back right there. Or you could slide it all the way forward and hit the two back holes right there and right there. Uh, but you got it hanging over uh, your front of your uh, hub, which later on, if you want to put a button box in, in there, it may be in the way. So I would suggest utilizing at least uh, the, two, the two middle holes here, one and one. Or the very front holes, you could do it as well. Uh, one and one right there. So that's how I would mount it if you were uh, going to go direct mount. But I would also add the other two holes. I'm going to use the brackets that came with it, which this is not drilled for at all. <laughs> so, so I'm going to go ahead and just install them real quick and uh, so I can measure off to where they're at. So I line these up here. These are the bottom base brackets, and they give you instructions. But you basically want this V not, or this little notch here to the back of the of the uh, the base, and they give you plenty of screws and stuff. So it's going to be like this, right? Let me get a screw. Now I've heard of people complaining that you can't really get the uh, nuts on there very well, which that's kind of a pity, right? But it goes, see, it's supposed to go to the bottom. Oops, let me go ahead and put on my lock washer and flathead. I don't I think it matters. Let me see, eight is lock washer. So, lock washer on first, flat washer last. Drop that in there just to kind of hold it. And we will put a net on the back side here. You're going to want to, it's tricky, you know? This is a very small little area here. See if I can hold it there somehow. Yeah, I got a couple of threads. This is a little bit of a pain, I would, you know, I think. It'd be nice if they had a bigger cutout right here for the uh, Sim Experience to, uh, for us, bigger country boys to have more room grab me another set up here lock washer and nut on lock washer first and that second like so and we'll grab us another nut and screw it in again i'm gonna do one side just for this video to keep it short uh, the other side will be the same, right? All 
All right, we pause it. I'll come back. I'll have the other side installed. Hold on. Okay, so looks like I got it in paused. <laughs> it was rolling. Anyway, this is a, it looks like a, yeah, five mil uh, Allen on top. And we're using a 10 millimeter for the nut on the bottom. To tighten it down. You can get in there. You don't have to be too tight. I actually do it at a crisscross pattern just because it's habit for me. Even though they're not connected. Anybody can do this. This is child's play. All right, torque down a little bit. Torque it down. Flip it over. Torque it down. And I think this is one last one here to go. Three down. All right. That's not going anywhere. You can torque these down a little bit more because you're going to, you know, a stud to a, a nut. It's not like there's something threaded on the inside. All right. So now the bracket on there is going to see which way it's going to go. This is going to be your base. You're going to screw it into the back right there. And then these are your levels of your angles that you can adjust up and down, which is actually pretty cool. Pretty cool that you can do that. Again, we're going to use stud flat or uh, stud lock washer. If I can get it on there, and then flat, and it's like we'll come from the outside in because this is actually a threaded piece already, which is good. I like it. I like it a lot. Now, same thing here. Now, I'd imagine with the adjustments, it's going to be a little bit, uh, I don't know, a little bit of a pain to keep up with the lock washers and nuts. Uh, sometimes when you decide, like, I want it here at 5 degrees, 10 degrees, 15 degrees, you're going to have to unscrew it each time. But the nice thing is you don't have to reach into your unit once this is already installed and... Uh, look try to tighten up a nut on the back side so i do like that i am gonna guess and go with around a 10 degree sweep for myself that's a usually a good happy medium for me and i'm just hand tightening these right now same thing on the other side Thing, lock washer first, flat washer second, grab my other bracket over here, same thing, I really like the design of these brackets, they look really good. Again, uh, you know, bottom up because this is going to screw into your K2 rig or whatever your rig is you're using. I actually recommend the Symmetech K2 rigs because uh, they are... I have found that all of them I've used are the best rig in the business, really, uh, as far as the heavy dutyness of it. And being able to withstand the torques of the drug drive wheel, which I will find out for sure here recently. <laughs> here shortly, rather. Uh, but from my understanding, it has no problem with it. Again, I'm going to go to the 10 degree on this one as well. You pretty much have to, I'm going to have to drill out that plate, right? But, um, this one's got a little bit stuck in here. I'm going to have to drill out the, oops. Hey man, my camera fell, man. <laughs> All right, go back. I'm going to have to drill out this uh, top plate back here for the Cinematec. But I want to get these installed so I can at least measure uh, where I need to drill it out, you know? So now I have these installed, 
will lay my plate. Now on the Symmetec, the angle bracket goes in the back and then you can set this on top here and then measure it out. So did I do something wrong here? It's too, oh yeah. I'm like, this is not flat guys. It's because I went two from the bottom here and I went three from the top, <laughs> three from the bottom on this side. My bad, silly me, getting in a hurry. But you can see that is just how quick it is to undo it. You need to make your adjustment. Like I just have to move it down to the 10 degree mark. I can get it in there, three and thread it. Boom, just like that, man. Just like that, man. All right, don't have to snug them down this yet. Now, I'm gonna try this again. Lay it on there, yes, nice and flat. So, let's see. We have any holes we can work with? Yes, we do actually. So, the very back two holes, these right here, on either side, will work as a starting point. So that's good. So I at least know that gives me the spacing from here to here. I know I'm gonna to have to follow that spacing down here to hook up to the other bolt. So then all I'm gonna do is take my calipers and measure from center to center. Let me zero this out. We'll go millimeters, that's fine, doesn't matter. Center to center. And I am at 56 millimeters. Right there, I think, 56 millimeters up. So what I would do is measure 56 millimeters from this back hole up, and you can see where that's gonna be. I'm gonna drill a hole right there. Same on both sides. So it's almost where I need it, but that's, that's how you do it, guys. So anyway, I will come back after I drill these holes, mount her up. So I went back and drilled the holes in here and I will show you, Let's see what size was this? This was a 1764, excuse me for the, for the uh, moving around of the camera real quick, but anyway, 1764 would be your finishing drill that you would want to run into for your holes. So I drilled two holes here. You can see they're pretty much slightly off from from these, but it was you know the 50 what did I say 56 millimeters apart up. Oh, that's it. That's all you have to do is drill two holes for the uh, Semitic K2 Semitic. I cannot pronounce it correctly. I'm not sure. I call it Semitech, but Semitech K2 rig. You can just utilize the back holes here. Uh, drill your two front ones. Bolt them down with the supplied hardware that Sim Experience gives you. This is as easy as that. Then, of course, go bolt it back up to your rig uh, with the screw here. And you still have this adjustment here if you want it to. I would suggest just keeping it flat uh, between the two and just mess with your adjustments down here on the uh, Sim Experience base. So, anyway, that's it. Hope you enjoyed the the uh, how to on uh, how to mount the Sim Experience. V2 Pro to your Semitic K2 rig. I'm out.